Yo, what is up my people? It is your boy Nate Shot. I am back from the dead. It's only really been about four days since I've uploaded, but to be honest with you, whenever I take that long to put something up on YouTube, it always feels like forever. But the reason why you guys haven't seen anything from me is because we were in Columbus this past weekend competing at the Season 1 Advanced Warfare MLG Championships. Throughout the last two months, our team has competing against other pro teams about six matches a week and having a cumulative record leading up into these playoffs that we just played at this past weekend. So uh, we had the first seed. I think we set the record for most wins and least losses ever in the MLG seasons. And so going into this tournament, we really wanted to prove to everybody that uh, the first event that we won, UMG Orlando, wasn't a fluke. And two, that we weren't just an online team that could beat the crap out of you at any given time. Uh, we just wanted to prove to everybody that we could win on land consistently. And if you guys didn't watch, we ended up winning. We may or may not have won, and we did win. I don't know why I just repeated that like three times, but we did it. I'm so excited for it because this is my first ever MLG championship, excluding X Games. I count X Games because it was an MLG sanctioned event, and we even got a gold medal for it. Uh, but if you guys don't count, ha! Finally, all the haters, you could shut the mouth or something, whatever. I don't know. I don't think anybody will ever understand how hard it actually is to win a Call of Duty event. A lot of people think that it's just, I mean, you have a bunch of good players, you're going to win. But it really is not like that at all. A lot of matches in Call of Duty can come down to one or two kills or one or two mistakes. And it is really, really, really difficult. Uh, so for me... To win two in a row now since we won UMG Orlando, now we won the championship season one. For me, that's really amazing. I, I never really, yeah, I mean, when we formed this team, I wanted to do that, but wanting to do something and actually doing it are two different things. So the fact that we actually accomplished that goal is absolutely amazing. If you guys didn't watch the matches at all, you guys really missed out. Just going to give you guys a rundown of what happened. So on Friday... We 3-0 uh, Rise. I mean, they had Pac-Man on their team, so I, I'm pretty sure everyone assumed that that was going to happen. Anytime you play Pac-Man, it's just an instant an instant win for the other team. And then Saturday, we played against the Wear. We ended up winning 3-1. And then Sunday, we played TK in the Winners Bracket Finals, which was a lot closer than we expected it to be. Uh, we went up 2-0 in the series, and we, we assumed that we were just going to finish them out in, in the next respawns. But they ended up winning the uplink. To be honest with you, I shit the bed. Wasn't playing that well in that, in that map. And then the CTF, we just didn't really play how we normally do on that map. And we ended up going to a Game 5 Search and Destroy. And it went all the way to Round 11. We were tied 5-5, and we ended up clutching up in the end and winning that match. So that was absolutely fantastic. And then we went to our Finals versus Denial. They ended up beating TK in the Loser Bracket Finals. And we beat them 3-0. So an amazing weekend overall. I, I mean, I really have no complaints I, I, I'm speechless, to be honest with you. I, I just can't believe I've won two events in a row. Something I've always wanted to do and to finally accomplish that goal is absolutely amazing. But uh, besides that, I mean, other than that, I've done a little redecorating in my room. A lot of people have been asking me to show them in the stream. Uh, not really much has changed, to be honest with you. I just moved my desk around. So uh, you guys are going to see right here a bunch of wires. But my computer... I'm having an issue with my computer. Um, I mean, anybody that's really been watching my stream, you guys will see that my webcam glitches. Um, it's, it hasn't been functioning the right way. And I've updated all the webcam drivers. I've updated all the drivers I possibly could. And I've, I figured that it might it has to be a motherboard issue. So I brought the computer in to be repaired. I have a warranty, so it should get fixed up. And then obviously I have my bed and the Red Bull fridge. And my room is a little dirty. But, uh, I mean, I just wanted it, I wanted it to have like a... Like really like a desk feel I mean, or like an office feel. You know, I get behind here and now I'm like, I'm, I'm cozy in my corner and I can see the door and I just, I like this setup a lot more. I mean, behind me, I think I'm going to get set up like a green screen. I think that's the plan to be honest with you just because I'll be able to make my stream look a little bit more professional. Just, just a whole bunch of stuff going on here at the Optic House. I won't be able to stream today, unfortunately. I don't think my computer will be uh, ready in time. But I just want to make this video, give you guys an update on what's been going on, why you haven't seen me in the last couple days, and uh, why my setup has changed a little bit. So, I mean, I can just give you guys uh, one more view of what this actually looks like. I got my gold YouTube button over there. I, I, I still have to do a little bit more uh, redecorating in the room. But for, for the most part, that's really all I have for you guys. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. Hope you guys enjoyed Thanks a lot. You too. We'll see you fudging later.